know about you, but I have this front door mat that drives me nuts because it, like, okay, there's our front door. It slides under the front door and you can see it from the outside and it's just a huge pain in the behind. So, I saw this on Pinterest and I'm going to give it a shot. You just um, put some hot glue, like do some lines. Obviously, I should probably stop talking some lines so that they're straight. But basically, I mean, no one's going to see it, but you just do... I'm going to try and get the camera to follow my hot gluing, um, but basically this will just allow, um, give it some grip, which is what I'm hoping because seriously it's driving me up the, up the wall. So, I'm sure if you've seen any of my other videos, you have seen how much hot glue I have, so this is a great way to use it. <laughs> So, I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but I'm pretty sure it'll be nice and functional. So I'm just going to do probably, like, four of those. Oh, look at that. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I have three hot glue guns. One's a total dud. The other two are beautiful. Guess who chose the dud? <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> Toddler probably could have done a better job at this than me, that's cool. I'm okay with that. Never said I was a pro glue gunner, right? Right? As long as I'm improving, I think that's what really matters. Oh, sorry, I have this terrible habit of zooming in. Um, the flip zoom button is super sensitive, um, for me at least. So. I am always clicking zoom, and I don't know if you've noticed, like, in the Day in the Life video, there's a couple clips where it just, like, all of a sudden zooms in on my nose, and it's like, ugh, are you kidding me? Really, Flip? Really? Alright, so the hot glue gun is deciding to work tremendously. Huge improvement. Maybe not in my glue gunning skills, but in the hot glue gun, at least. So I'm just running some extra lines so that they're nice and thick. Hopefully I didn't hit that dang zoom button again. No. I thought I did there for a second. And just making sure that it goes all the way to the edge. I did this impromptu line down here just because I was feeling it line right here that I'm touching up. Probably my favorite. Hopefully yours doesn't look as crazy bad, but I'm really not very attached to this mat. It was just like um, an extra one. We had so many entrances in our old house that, um, you know, we needed more mats than we do now. So this shouldn't take very long to dry at all. Should be dry fairly quickly. So just a couple. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this one right here. Winner. Anyways, this is way too long for a simple vlog, but I'm going to test this out and see if it works. I've just got to wait for it all to dry. It'll probably be like another two or three minutes and then we'll see. Okay, sorry for the terrible lighting. In that other video, I didn't realize this light wasn't on, so it's probably going to be really gross, but oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, look. Like, it, it moves, but like, not nearly as much. I can walk in and out and doesn't really move. It's, it grips pretty good. 
so you can kind of, it goes really well this way, I probably would have done, you know how I did all this way, I probably would have done this way as well because it grips really good this way, not really good this, this way, it grips really good, this way not, so not as much, but still perfect, I mean, I'm, see, so I need just a little bit more, but still, freaking amazeballs, look at that. No more matte slippage. Hello.